welcome to Fishy Business and the weekly update. Uh, you see the door that Kat just finished that's absolutely fantastic, a little attraction as you get to the back of the store. That's where I wanted to start this video today. Uh, what do I always say? A lot's happening here at Fishy Business, but a lot is happening. Uh, we actually have our fearless leader, Guy Griffin, in the house for a whole week, which is pretty amazing. Um, and so the store has taken on a new form as it usually does when he's here. You want to come by and check out what he's done. Uh, there's a lot happening as far as fish coming in and this again is the time of the year where we stockpile all the new dry goods from the show and things that you haven't seen yet. Uh, all the tanks except for the 210 has, have come in or and are coming in. So if you're starting to think about Christmas, now that Halloween is over and everything is behind us, uh, you definitely are gonna wanna come by and check out what we've got in. I don't know how, what availability is gonna be like for the rest of the year, um, but I can tell you that it's really good right now heading into the Christmas season. So there's that little bit of information. The other thing that I wanna mention is that not this weekend, but next weekend, we've got a uh, plant demo uh, we have a whole aquascaping demo from 12 to 4 here at Fishy Business. And it's going to be in two different types of tanks with Jerry Jovia. Is that right, Kat? Okay, she's nodding. So uh, he's coming up from Miami uh, for a one day show. He's going to be doing two aquascaping videos, or vi not videos, but seminars. So you can come by and ask all your questions and actually watch a professional aquascaper at work. And the coolest thing about this is we're going to give away the second tank that he does. <clears throat> Excuse me, but you must be present to win. Um, so there's more about that. Ryan will actually be coming to you on Facebook with some information about that. And uh, let's get on to the update. Hi, it's Kevin. I'm your freshwater manager here at Fishy Business. I got some nice new arrivals in for you. I'd like to show you and give you a rundown of what we got in new this week. Sorry, a lot of the fish are still in bags. We're still letting them out this morning. We did get in some nice looking fancy guppies in this week. We've been low on fancy guppies for the past couple weeks. These look really nice. These are one of my personal favorites. These are long fin tiger barbs. Please bear in mind, although tiger barbs do have a bad reputation for being fin nippers, the long fin variety will get mauled by the regular type. Do not keep the short fins and the long fins together have an African import, the African rope fish. These guys are not very aggressive, a good alternative to the polypterus. They prefer to eat mostly blood worms and pellets off the bottom. Cool little oddball to do. We got in some nice looking clown knives. Bear in mind clown knives get very large and will eat anything that fits in their very large mouth, so pick tank mates accordingly. Really cool fish. This is one of my favorite eyeball catfish. This is the Lima Shovel Nose. They often headstand trying to resemble a stick floating in the water and do a lot of other acrobatic tricks. They do get large and they will eat anything that will fit in their very large mouth. Again, pick tank mates accordingly. This is another really cool oddity. We've got in some five spot jewel cichlids. Not often imported, really cool little fish. Very aggressive though. We have some red tail black sharks in stock. These guys do best if you keep them individually in your tank in with other semi-aggressive fish because once they become sexually mature they do get aggressive towards each other. These are beautiful. These are Madoka white lip cichlids. Really beautiful African cichlid. We also have another oddity. We've got some locally raised albino red empress. We've got them in two different sizes, males and females, although we're selling out quickly of the large males. Also from my local breeders this weekend, I got in some stellar looking male peacocks. These are the real deal. These are beautiful looking peacocks, never hormoned or juiced up in any size, shape or form, and will continue to keep that brilliant color. 
show you some of my top picks this week in the saltwater department. Um, but while I got y'all back here, we got in thousands of blue lake hermit crabs and astraea snails. So for this week only, for your blue legs and your astraea snails, we're running a special. So normally it's 10 for 30. This week it's going to be 10 for $25. And then you get 20 of them for $40 and then you can get 50 of them for $75, and that's only this week. So if you're looking um, to restock your cleanup crew, now is the week to come in and get those. But now we're gonna go take a look at the fish. All right, so the first fish I'm gonna show you guys is this really beautiful medium-sized um, yellow mimic tang. So this one has a very nice yellow coloration, and I'm just gonna kind of scoop him up really quickly so that you guys can take a look at him. Um, he's got that really nice blue highlighted on his eye, just like the um, yellow lemon peel angels. So this guy is reef safe, needs some seaweed, but he came in a really great size. All right, so real quickly, the reason why we're showing you these guys in the buckets is because uh, they just came in, so we're still acclimating them. So I got in some really nice juvenile t uh, firefin tamini tanks. So if you've been looking for a very peaceful tang that can get along with pretty much anything else, including other Tamini tangs, this guy's going to be great for you because he's small. So you can start him out and watch him grow. So one of my favorite tangs are, are actually the Scopus tangs, and I got in a large one. Um, you, when I post the picture, you can see, and you might even can see here, whoops, um, look at all of those freckles, those really nice highlighted light colored freckles and those really nice caudal fin and dorsal fins as well. Scopus tangs work really well. Um, just be careful if you already have zebra soma tangs in your tank or are looking to add any, because this guy will um, fight with other zebra somas. But other than that, this is a very peaceful tank and he does very well in reef tanks. So this week I got something really cool. So I got male blue jaw triggers, which I typically get in very frequently. They have that nice bright blue on their jaw, and then their fins are outlined in bright yellow. But also the cool part is that I actually got in a female blue jaw trigger. So these guys have the light blue on top of their eyes, like the pearl color. They don't have that bright blue on their jaws, and then their fins are not outlined in the bright yellow. So that's how you can tell male and female. So we're gonna actually stick them in the tank together and they might pair up, they might not. Um, and you might can take both of them home and put them in your tank and they might pair up there. So very excited, blue jaw triggers are actually one of the more quote unquote reef safe triggers. They have a much more peaceful demeanor. So you can put them with um, community fish as well. So for the first time in a, probably about six months or so, I finally have a Sohal tank. Sohal tangs are one of the most beautiful tangs in the entire ocean, but they are also the meanest tang in the entire ocean. Sohal tangs, um, like I said, are very aggressive, so if you want to add a Sohal, it absolutely needs to be the last fish that you add. But if you look, he's got beautiful cobalt blue highlighting his caudal fin, dorsal fin, and his tail fin. He's got bright yellow on his pectoral fins, and right where his little spear is on his tail is bright orange. Sohal tanks are um, pretty hard to come by these days, so now is definitely your chance to get one because it could be another six months or so before I get another one. But this specimen right here is absolutely stunning and I wish I could take him home to my tank. All right guys, so I have a lot of sand sifting gobies in right now, including golden head sleeper gobies, which is the one we're looking at right now. Golden head sleeper gobies are fantastic sand sifters. They have that bright golden head, which is where they get their name. And then they have a highlighted baby blue um, line that runs from their mouth right back to their gills. Um, these guys, uh, this one in particular is very small. Um, so it, even if you have a smaller tank and you want something to help keep your sand clean, um, this guy would be perfect. Even if he outgrows your tank, we can always do an exchange. You can come back and get another small one. But I love these guys. They're at a fantastic price point. Definitely don't want to miss out on the golden heads. So speaking of sand sifting gobies, this one is a stunning Bella goby. Bella gobies do have a higher price point because they are a prettier variant of the golden heads. So this guy still has a bright golden head and he still has the nice blue line running from his mouth to his gills. But as you can see, Bella gobies are pink. Very, very, very pink. 
These guys are absolutely stunning. They are definitely a showpiece in your tank. I have one in my tank at home and I absolutely adore them. Bella Gobies also like the Golden Heads do a fantastic job of sand sifting. These guys are stunning. Like I said, they do have a little bit of a, they have a little bit higher of a price point, but totally worth it for these Bella Gobies. And Bella Gobies I can't get in all the time. Um, not a complete rarity, but something that's a little bit more challenging for me to get in. So definitely come scoop up this gorgeous pink Bella Gobi while you can. All right, um, so this guy kind of was a hitchhiker. He came in with um, some smaller hermit crabs that I got. This guy is a monster. He is called a white spot hermit crab. Um, he's not fish safe. He's not reef safe. He's not crab safe or snail safe or shrimp safe. Um, He's not really safe for a whole lot of things. Um, so uh, if you have big fish, he's be fine with really big fish. So if you have a fowler tank and you want a really cool centerpiece crab, the only tank I would recommend him for is a fowler tank where you have um, larger fish that he can't get a hold of. Um, or this might be a good crab for your sump or refugium or something like that. He's really pretty. Um, but yeah, come get him, please. Okay, everyone, thank you for paying attention to this week. Uh, more coming with the uh, plant seminar next week. Uh, there's some special sales going on this week. I'm hoping, Connor, that maybe Reagan shared some of those with you. Um, but there are, we're going to start having a few different sales on tanks that you just have to come in and see. Uh, this is the room that we have been working on to try to get as a showroom. So this is going to kind of hopefully come together as we get closer to Christmas where you can just walk in and buy a complete setup, already done, ready to go, and take it home or have us deliver it. So, with all that being said, have a great weekend. Come see us. God bless, and I'll see you next week.